Wall Street firm Baird curbing its enthusiasm today for Capital One, Wells Fargo, and American Express. David George is the analyst behind the bearish calls. He joins us on the fast line. David, great to have you with us. Hey, good afternoon, Melissa. It sounds like basically, you know, these stocks significantly outperformed, as you point out in the notes. It's a valuation call primarily, but um, how much of this is, is broader concerns about unemployment going higher, credit quality going lower? Yeah. So from my perspective, the, the upside in a soft landing relative to the downside uh, in a harder landing is starting to become asymmetric. And, and as you mentioned, with respect to employment, uh, we think white collar unemployment in particular is going to go higher, which we think is going to impact both credit quality as, re as well as uh, consumer spend. In particular for Amex, which we cut to sell today, uh, Amex and card companies in particular, Melissa, have been beneficiaries of, of a tailwind coming from inflation. And as inflation starts to come in, in addition to travel and entertainment, uh, we think is also starting to peak. And Amex has been a big beneficiary of those uh, two categories. As those start to slow, we, we think that revenue growth starts to slow and the upside in those in these stocks is fairly limited in our view, especially uh, given uh, where valuations and sentiment are currently. David, I admire your call. American Express went from 142 in uh, late October to 180-ish now. On the back of, I would think, all the things you just said, and not least of which, 10-year yields going from 5 percent to 4 percent. How what a yield? Do they? How do yields play into this call, at all, if at all? Yeah, they really don't, Guy. Um, and we were on the show nine months or so ago when we upgraded both of these two stocks in April as well as eight or nine regional banks. And, and that the opportunity to buy was then and not now, in our opinion. From a 10-year from a yield perspective, it's really more yield, from our perspective at least, have more of an impact on regional banks or money center banks rather than cards. Uh, card names are funded on the wholesale market, so the movement in the Fed, or, or excuse me, the movement from a, from a pivot or this movement in 10-year yields isn't really influencing our call, but clearly it has had an impact on uh, market participants' willingness to take risk. Uh, part of your downgrades were, were uh, Wells Fargo, David. I'm wondering, you know, you upgraded that stock back in the summer of 2020. Um, so what are you seeing here? It's just the story has played out given the, the run recently it's had? Yeah, a lot's changed in that uh, two and a half year period. If you recall, Melissa, back then uh, the stock was in the low 20s. There was a lot of concerns, not only related to the pandemic, but there was a continuing drip of negative news related to the sales uh, scandals at Wells Fargo and, and Warren Buffett and Berkshire was actually selling the rest of their stock at that point. And, and at 50 bucks, we think the stock is pretty fairly priced. We don't think it's a short year, but a lot of good news we think is reflected in, in Wells as well as the money center banks broadly going into an earnings season, which, as you know, is going to start on Friday. We think the bar is a much higher today than it was clearly eight weeks ago.